Call of Duty Zombies in Black Ops Cold War is an exclusive. Apex Legends coming to Steam and Assassin's Creed China is the next Assassin's Creed game. Hello everybody and welcome to Gamer Connect. You are watching Top Gaming News. My name is Given Madness and let's just discuss some of the top news of this week. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War will be releasing on November 13th, but since it's a Black Ops game, there's definitely has to be zombies. A lot of people are more excited about zombies. I never get that. I mean, I don't know. I don't get it. This time, zombies are getting a new setting, a new character and a new mode, and it's called Zombies Onslaught Mode. Well, what could possibly happen in a Call of Duty game? Yep, it's, it's going to be an exclusive to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Not for a few months, for one full year. Well, let's talk about what Zombies Onslaught is. Zombies Onslaught is basically a two-player game where you guys will be dropped in these multiplayer maps and you will have to take on a horde of zombies where you are confined by dark aether orbs. Killing enough zombies will make these orbs move and as they move, you will have to move as well because if you're outside these orbs, you are dead. So maybe you can set up shop for a while and then move again as the orbs move. These zombies will attack in surges and can include more powerful elite enemies. But since you are in a tight space, even regular zombies can be dangerous. Well, this isn't something new, but keeping a game mode to be exclusive in PlayStation for a full year, it, it is weird in my opinion. I mean, usually Call of Duty would be keeping these things exclusive for a month or so, but for a year, that's too much. Well, nobody likes exclusivity. I mean, it's, it's not up to Infinity Ward, but don't worry. Of course, after a year, you will be able to play Black Ops Cold War Zombies in your PC and it's going to be happening on 21st November. 2021. Well, even though zombies are not a thing, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is still coming to PC and other platforms as well. So, what do you guys think of the game? You guys played the beta this last weekend. What do you think of this game? Would you like to play this and buy this game? Let me know in the comments below. With EA bringing games to Steam, there was always one game that has yet to release on Steam. But now, it has been confirmed that Apex Legends is coming to Steam with the launch of Season 7 on November 4th. Who's the king? Is it me? Is it this thing? Yeah, that sucked. The game will have crossplay, so you can play with guys on Origins, from Xbox, from PlayStation 4. But more importantly, all your progress from Origin will be carried over to Steam since they are connected. So it's one of those things that is very, very important and they're doing it. Well, there's more to it if you played the game from Steam, because if you're logging into Steam during Season 7, you will get free Half-Life and Portal Gun Jumps. I mean, that only happens if you're logging in for the first time on Steam and playing Apex. Then you can get those gun charms, which is pretty cool. Apart from that, EA has been teasing a new character in their recent Champion Edition trailer, which might drop into Season 7. Well, I believe that it should be dropping on Season 7. Well, there was also a small teaser of some sort on Twitter showing the new legend, which some data miners say that her name is Horizon and she is a doctor, but we will have to wait to see about her on Season 7 as it comes along in November. I know there's some way with Newt. Just got to figure out how we can fuse the Brantium without critical mass. Well, as of right now, Apex Legends is having a Halloween event called Shadow Royale, which is a limited time event in the King's Canyon dark map, where you can become a shadow and kill people even quicker and deal heavy damage. It's It, it, it really is fun, so check it out. After Death Stranding getting mixed reviews, mostly people thought it's a boring game, Kojima is back in making a brand new game. Kojima Production tweeted out that they are developing a new game and they're looking for best-in-class talent to work out in Tokyo. Kojima has worked on the most popular Metal Gear Solid games but has also worked on the cancelled project Silent Hills PT which people still talk about even though it has been 5 years ever since the release of its demo and ever since it has also been cancelled. After that, Kojima went on making Death Stranding starring Norman Reedus and it had a marvelous trailer. I gotta say, the trailer was actually really, really cool, but unfortunately, the game came out not so well, according to a lot of people. A lot of people said that this game is more of a walking simulator where you have to take items, more like luggages, from point A to point B and then also fight monsters or people, but the combat wasn't hard at all. And later on, what came along was lots of memes. A hell lot of memes. For many, it felt boring, but it did have a good story element. It was spread across the game and the story element is something elegant, but even with all that, overall, people didn't like the game as much, even though Kojima believes that people will come back to the game after a few years. 
but I can't say that for sure. And now they're working on a new game. Unfortunately, nobody knows what the game is, but as of right now, they require a game designer and a programmer for this project. So we might be able to see something that they're working on in the future, maybe in 2021. Maybe we get a glimpse of something late 2021, early 2022, who knows? Well, what do you guys think of Death Stranding at first? Did you guys enjoy that game if you played it? And are you looking forward to the next game that Kojima Production is going to make? Let me know in the comments below. There are new rumors circulating that a new Assassin's Creed might be in the works and will be set in China or Japan. Now these are all rumors but there is a good amount of evidence that might go for this conclusion that Assassin's Creed Japan or China is the next game. In 2018, John Bygod posted some concept art for Assassin's Creed which looks like it's from China or Japan. He also made a concept art for Assassin's Creed Ragnarok which is now named Valhalla. He's currently working as a concept artist for Ubisoft Montreal and he has also worked with Assassin's Creed Syndicate. With this concept art, there is a naming convention which is similar to the others which has made N Staff in Reddit to believe that it's true. According to N Staff, he believes that these art denotes that the game is going to be set in China, with a fortress showing in one of the images being from medieval China, where he sorts out the difference between a Chinese fort and a Japanese fort and how these concept art shows that this design is to be one of a Chinese fort. He also talks about the armory and the weaponry being from China. He believes that the game is going to be released on 2023 since every game development start with a concept art and since this concept art came out in 2018, he believes that after 5 years the game will be released along with that the Montreal team too will be working on the game. A YouTuber by the name Fizzy talked about rumors on Assassin's Creed Rome and China, with Rome being cancelled because it was very much similar to that of Odyssey whereas China for now still exists and is in the work of Team 2 while Team 3 is working on Vikings and that is Valhalla. This was talked about in a podcast back in 2018 and now you can see Valhalla is already coming out next month. People in Reddit surely believe that there will be an Assassin's Creed China or a Japan game but again these are all speculation based on concept art that was released 2 years ago. I mean it could be possible that game is cancelled. I mean we have seen a lot of games being cancelled and maybe this is also one of them. But who knows, we have to wait till an announcement comes out. At least we know that one Assassin's Creed game is coming and that is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Are you guys excited for that game? Let me know that in the comments below. Recently a 15 minute gameplay video of Scorn was released in the Xbox official YouTube channel and the game is very eerie and not only that very uncomfortable to watch. You are in this dark place with some weird monsters and some gooey stuff on the walls and not only that you have this gun which apparently is a living being and even that is very uncomfortable to listen to. This whole game is very uncomfortable. You can switch to different weapon types in the game. We got to see a lot of doors closing, maybe a lot of puzzles here, some monsters that you can kill using different weapons but overall the game is definitely hard to watch and I cannot imagine how it will be to play. Moreover, this game is inspired by the work of H.R. Geiger who worked in the visual team for Alien Movie and that was very interesting to look at. Well, coming back to Call of Duty, right now Warzone is on a Halloween event with a number of ghosts implanted in the game. We can see ghosts roaming around in the map with more ghosts from movies such as Saw or Chainsaw Massacre where you can see Billy the Puppet in TV screens and also in train station. You can also see Leatherface Ghost in a house in Kovnik farmland, not only in a house but in a number of houses and you can also hear the chainsaw sounds. People have seen ghost trains in subway stations and quarry which is really interesting and you can also find body parts in various houses in the game. Not only that, there is a zombie battle royale mode in the game where if you die, you become a zombie and then you have to kill someone or get that antivirus thing and you have to inject it so that you can come back as a human. Very interesting game mode. This time they're also bringing Leatherface skin and Billy the Puppet skin in the game along with that a pumpkin head and a flaming pumpkin head which you can earn by killing a few people without dying. Well they have certainly added a lot of detail in the game. A lot of people believe that there's more than 1000 ghosts roaming in the game in different parts of the map. That is insane. Have you guys tried out this new Warzone Halloween themed event? Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying it. And that's a wrap up for this episode of Top Gaming News. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. If you did not, you can leave a dislike. You can even comment down below what you think about this very episode and the news that we discussed just in this video. And also, do not forget to subscribe to Gamer Connect and notification bell should be turned on so that you guys can get notified 
whenever a new content comes out in Gamer Connect. My name is Game Manners and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.